Hello everybody, welcome once again to Tuesday CT. I am Kristen from Agush and today we are talking about tips for the ACT math section, specifically what are rational and irrational numbers. This is a topic that the ACT can test, but that probably you haven't really thought too hard about. Maybe it was elementary school when you first talked about rational and ira irrational numbers, maybe middle school. Probably you've moved on to more advanced math and you actually have to think about the definition a little bit. So this is just a little bit of a refresher. So we have real numbers and we have imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers are a whole other topic and we have some videos on those as well too. But as far as real numbers go, they can be either rational or irrational. Now, rational numbers can be expressed as a fraction and irrational numbers cannot be expressed as a fraction. That's the definition you want to remember. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples and then decide whether a few things are rational or irrational to make sure you got it. All right, here are some rational numbers. Six, so any whole number can be expressed as a fraction itself over one, so six is six over one. Negative three, doesn't matter if they're positive or negative when it comes to rational or irrational. One half, that's a fraction, obviously. A decimal like 0 0.4 can be expressed as 4 tenths or reduced to 2 over 5, so that is also rational. 22 over 7, in this case, you, well, it's a fraction, so <laughs> you know it's rational. Forget what I was going to say. 13.5, that is a decimal that can be expressed as a fraction as well, too. We can convert that. Here are some irrational number examples. The most famous irrational number is probably pi. Some of you maybe have some really cool or really nerdy, depending on how you look at it, friends who can recite like 100 digits of pi, or maybe there's a contest in your school. Pi just keeps going and it doesn't repeat, so that's why it's such a feat to be able to memorize this string of numbers. So it's 3.141592 and then so many other numbers, and we haven't gotten to the end of pi yet. There are still mathematicians working on that. So any non-repeating and non-terminating decimal like pi is irrational. So let's just peek at this example. 0 0.33333, and I have that little bar there to show it's repeating, 3333333 to infinity. Is this rational or irrational? Well, it's rational because it is repeating and that equals one third. So it can be expressed as a fraction. So just because you have a really long decimal doesn't mean it's irrational. It needs to be non-repeating and then also non-terminating mean. It just keeps going. It doesn't have some end to it. So for example, 0 0.175, if that's all there is, that's rational even though it doesn't seem to be repeating. So quick quiz. Which of these is not a rational number? 1 fourth, square root of 121, square root of 3, or negative 11.475? 1 fourth, easy, it's a fraction, so that's rational. Remember, that's the definition of rational numbers, can be expressed as a fraction. Square root of 121, well, maybe you know that's 11, so you could plug that into your calculator and you could also see if there's a pattern to the repetition of the decimals, if that's what it works out to be, but in this case, that's a whole number. Um, square roots are the ones that can be kind of tricky. You may think that they're always irrational, but they're not. In this case, it's 11. Square root of 3, however, that is irrational because it just has a whole bunch of numbers. If you plug in your calculator, there's no pattern, there's no repetition to it. So that is our answer, irrational, but negative 11.475, that's an example of a terminating decimal. So we could express it as a fraction, maybe a really big one, maybe a small one, but it could be a fraction. So our answer is C, square root of 3 is not a rational number. I hope that helps with a quick refresher of an important concept that may show up on the ACT. And I will see you back here on the next episode of Tuesday CT with some more tips for the ACT.